Hi, in this video I will show you how to debug uh, Microsoft SharePoint web part in uh, SharePoint Online in Visual Studio in Microsoft browser. So first I'm sh gonna show you my documentation for that point. Where is it? Uh, here. Oh, there's missing an image. Uh, there's, there's the image. Uh, no, imis image is missing. Now I will show it on German documentation, but uh, you will get the right documentation by the same. Um, first, we are changing the launch JSON uh, file, and the code for, therefore is in here. And what you have to do is you have to take the type to change that type to Edge on name hosted workbench. That's where remote testing of that part. And for the new browser, we have to type in version as, as Canary. So uh, only if you take this one, then uh, the browser will really start. So this is a really big changing. Then in the URL, you're going to set your site uh, where you have your uh, web part in. And then uh, you go to the surf. Also, you go surf there and say your initial page is something with the work uh, in your tenant site, SharePoint online site. And then we're going start Gulp Surf with a no browser option. So there's no browser opening at that point. Um, and then we're going debug. And I will show you this point. First, we have our Windows PowerShell. And in Win Windows PowerShell, we start Gulp Surf no browser. Now, our local browser will start in the background. And uh, in our uh, web part, we have here the launch option. In launch, you have the local workbench, but you don't need that uh, for real uh, work. And then you have the uh, hosted workbench and there you set the launch, canary, and then your website. This is a, a website, SharePoint website for free for developers. And uh, that's why I may work on that. And here in the running runtime arcs, you only have the remote debugging port. There's also uh, normally a sec second uh, line, which you have to delete. Then we have the surf and inside surf you also have to change the initial page uh, yeah and that's it and now you go to your uh, part so this is the ts file and in the ts file you set a breakpoint on there where you want to know what what's happening with the stuff which you a list for example which you are asking for in on your website and now you go to the you set a breakpoint there. Now you change to the run, and inside there you will find the hosted uh, this run uh, icon, and you switch to hosted workbench. Then you are starting there. Now you will see the browser will open on the right side. Inside there, uh, that's a Microsoft browser, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's not the default browser. Um, because there's a little bit uh, missing. I'm missing the uh, icon line. Or s icon line. So this is only for debugging. And now you're opening this plus sign, and you take the web part, which you are developing. And now, as soon as you drop in there, the uh, the browser sends its breakpoints to uh, to Visual Studio Code. And now you are in that site, and in there you will see all that stuff which you have in the watch list. So if you have this items query, go there to add watch. Now we, you will see this is the object there. And inside there you will find in this case, uh, there's only, it's an array. And inside the array you have a result, which is in this case uh, a camel query where I'm going to get uh, some special uh, summing summing up values so and you will find uh, that documentation in the link below but as i saw there is a missing uh, one point so i will also add my images on there and if you have questions to sharepoint 
then you are always welcome to uh, ask us something and to trying to help you.